Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about using the x and y coordinates on a graph in the first quadrant. Okay, so we have the start of a graph here. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis here. So I'll just label that. Okay, and now each of these uh, lines along here is going to be one uh, line on the x-axis, and this is going. To, each of these is going to be one on the y-axis. So I'll label those in now. Okay, so I've labeled each of these along here uh, 1 to 10. Uh, this line here is 0, so I'll label that. Okay, and so a coordinate is any pair of numbers. Uh, okay, so I have two coordinates here. I have uh, 2, 5, that's one coordinate, and I have 6, 1, that's another coordinate. Uh, all coordinates have to be, have to use um, brackets at the beginning and, and at the end. Okay, the first digit in the coordinate is always the x-axis along here. The second digit, in this case the 5, is always going to be the y-axis, okay? So the 2 is going to be on the x-axis here. The 5 is going to be on the y-axis along here, okay? Now, when you are drawing in coordinates, you always start with the numbers on the x-axis. That's the first digit in these coordinates, okay? So let's do the green one first, 2, 5. And we'll go from there. Okay, so for 2, 5, I count, I start at 0, and I count along the x-axis. Remember, the x-axis always comes first. So I go, go to 2. Okay, and then I'm at zero, 2, 0 here, and then I count up to 5. So that is where my first uh, point will be. Okay. And now my next coordinate is the five, uh, my next point is five. This is the y axis. Okay. So I've got two along here and then five. So this is correct. Okay. Two along and then five up. All right. You remember that this, this line here is always zero. Okay, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's go on to the next one, 6, 1. So again, 6 is on the x-axis. That always comes first. So I count along 6, okay, which is here. And then I go up 1, 1. Okay, so this is where my next point will be. Okay. Okay, so if I told you that these vertices, A and B, were part of a square, where do you think we could put the other two vertices to make, uh, to finish the corners or the vertices of the square? 
where would the other two corners be? Okay, so you work that out, and I will tell you where I think they should be. Okay? Okay. So, um, as we said, that A is one corner of the square, and B is another corner of the square here. Uh, where would the other corners be? Well, the one corner would be here, because it's a square. All the sides need to be equal. So the other corner needs to be here. Okay, so let's just draw those in. Okay, and this one here. Let me draw that in with the blue line. Okay, so there is our square. Okay, now uh, let's uh, let's do a different uh, shape, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we have two new coordinates here. We have four three, and eight eight. Okay, so again. The first digit, the four here and the eight here, are on the x coordinate, are on the x axis. So we have to draw those in first. Okay, so four is going to be along here. There's four, and now we have to count up three. So we're at four. We go one, two, three, and there's where our first point is going to be. Draw that in. Okay, and now we go to our next coordinate, 8, 8, count along 8 here, here's 8, and then we go up 8 to there, that's where our next coordinate is going to be. Okay, you have to remember that you always go across and then up, okay, across and then up, you never do it the other way around, okay, so 8, 8 is right there. Okay, so now, if I told you that uh, these two coordinates, this one and this one, are part of a right-angled triangle, where could you put the next or the third vertices or vertex of the triangle? Okay, so we've got two say that again, we've got two corners or vertices of a right angle triangle. Where would the third corner or vertex go for the right angled triangle? Okay, have a think about that and I'll let you know where I think. Okay, so you should have um, paused the video and had a think about it. Um, if you didn't, you can do that now. If you did, okay, here's where I would put the corners or the vert vertices. Okay, uh, we've got the first one. We've got one here, got another one here. It's a right angle triangle. That means that it has to have a 90 degree angle in it somewhere. So it's either going to be here or it could be here. Okay, so you got a choice. You got you could put it either. I'll give you a new color here. You could put it here. Okay. Or let's change color here. You could put it here. All right. So you could have a triangle going like this. Okay. Or you could have a triangle going like this. Okay. 
Either way, if they're right angle triangles, it wouldn't really matter. Okay? So, I hope that you found this helpful. If you think it could be improved, let me know. Okay, thanks.